morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're located in Frederick, Colorado. It's about 30 minutes outside of Denver, but if you don't feel like making the trip to Colorado, we have shippers that we use that deliver trailers all over the country. We offer financing with approved credit and we take trade-ins. So, we are a Cimarron and Logan dealer for our new trailers, but we work really hard to find super high quality used trailers that we can turn around, put through our shop, and sell to people when they're ready to, to drive down the road. So this is one that we actually just got in not too long ago. It is a 2019 Hart. It's a three horse living quarters. And this trailer came in super clean. It was a really, we were really happy with the purchase of this one because we know after we run it through our shop, for our shops, we have two service shops. We've got our clean shop and our dirty shop. So it will go through our dirty shop and they will check brakes and bearings, electrical. They'll actually put this trailer on the alignment machine so that this trailer will travel nice and straight down the road behind you. It's something that we offer here at TransWest exclusively. It is something we do on every used trailer. It's on all of our big trailers over 26 feet and all of our air ride trailers. So something really cool that, that you can get for our trailers here that are used at TransWest. I make no mistake, I think that our used trailers are better than anybody else's out there. So we also run them through our clean shop. We have RV, an RV dealership and so we go through and we have a technician check all of the appliances such as the water heater, the refrigerator, the furnace, and those all get serviced and made sure that they're up to standards before you take it home. So let's go ahead and take this, check this one out. So right under here, we do have a electric over hydraulic jack. And that makes it super easy for you guys. You don't have to crank. Just at a touch of a button, it goes up and down. So it's really, really easy to operate. This trailer is 28 feet on the floor. It's eight foot wide and seven, seven tall. So it's not something you necessarily want to be cranking up and down. We've got a 13 foot six short wall on this trailer. So this little hydraulic jack really makes it a nice addition to this trailer. You've got your two uh, propane bottles underneath and then your battery box. Two marine grade batteries in there. They'll go through and they'll test batteries on this trailer. And then there's a battery disconnect. Those battery disconnects are really nice because if you're hurrying out of your trailer and you want to make sure you didn't leave a light on above the sofa or anything, it's just a nice little safe card. You can turn it to off and you're not going to get any drain off of those batteries from your living quarters. We've got a full size spare right here. As we work our way around here, these heart trailers, they're super high quality aluminum trailer. We get a lot of these heart trailers in on trade. We actually used to be a heart dealership, so we're very familiar with them. Nice extruded aluminum sides on these. A roll out step so that you don't have to make this giant leap from the ground into the living quarters. We've got a huge electric awning above with an LED light strip underneath. So at night, you've got this light here, this light and the grab handle, it'll really light up well. You can kind of see what you're doing. You won't have to trip into your trailer. So this interior it is a Trail Boss conversion. So we've gotten a, quite a few Trail Boss conversions in on trade recently. They're a nice upper end conversion company. They use a lot of similar features to our Outlaw conversions. They're a custom conversion company, so you really do have a lot of options on what you can and can't do on these, or what you can do on these trailers. This trailer is really cool because you don't have a slide out, so you do gain a little bit of extra storage on this. Like I mentioned outside, it's a 13 foot six short wall. You're 28 feet on the floor. It's very manageable to get in and around, so it's very, very easy to use. You've got two TVs on this trailer, one up in the bed nose that can swivel over so it can be a little easier for you to see at night. 
And then you've also got one above this little fireplace that we have here. So the little fireplace is kind of a cool little addition, help heat your trailer. Also, nice little ambiance when you're on the road. So these two TVs are just really placed well for this, this seating arrangement. On this 13.6, it does allow you to have a little bench seat here, as well as this fold down sofa. So just a really nice little area to sit down and talk and, and hang out in the trailer. You've got lots of storage above, as well as up in the nose. You've got all those cabinets on the side. On horse trailers, I believe the more storage we can have, the better. You're always gonna find something to tuck into those nooks and crannies. These are day-night shades on this little window here, so you've got the ability to kind of run them up and down. Another little light, if you need to use this as like a little reading nook at night, you've got a nice little light that'll shine right down on you. More cabinetry storage above. Just want to point out how much. You're 13 foot 6 short wall and you have tons of places to store everything. One of the things I really loved about this trailer when I saw it come in is this huge sink. It's really deep and wide. I know that on horse trailers, sometimes we struggle finding a big enough sink to put in these, but I think that they did a really great job on this. Uh, you're going to also have the little, um, little sprayer, so it just makes it a lot easier to clean up if you cook in here or if you're just for the overall usability of your trailer. You have a nice big microwave up above, and then you've got a two burner cooktop. On these models, it's pretty cool because these kind of tuck out of the way. You don't really have to deal with them if you're not going to be cooking. You get all this additional seamless counter space here. You've got drawers underneath, extra storage below. And then I know on these conversions, they try and put outlets wherever they really can so that you can have lots of places to plug in your phones and, and devices. Got a nice big 6.0 fridge and freezer. These setups really allow you to you know, bring a lot of groceries. You can really go camping or hang out at the shows for an extended period of time without having to run back into town. Here's your controls for your, your furnace and your air conditioner. Pretty simple, just like a thermostat that you have at home. You do not have an onboard generator on this trailer. However, it is pre-wired for one. So if you wanted to add one in the future, that is something that you can do. I'll show you when we get back to the horse area how they've pre-wired it so that you can add it on after the fact. However, if you don't feel like adding on a generator, I know they're kind of a costly upgrade. If you're usually gonna be plugged into 30 amp power, if you're exclusively parking at campgrounds or friends' houses that they have that option, you can run everything you need to off of the shore power. So, and then you've got all your lights and everything that will run off of just your 12 volt, your battery. So, it's kind of really, really nice. You have that option to add it on in the future if you want. Big bathroom on this trailer. I know a lot of people are gonna be really excited about all this storage. You've got these two double a rod closets here. So the upper and the lower, and then that shelf is completely adjustable. So you can move it around how you want. Right in there you have a double leg table. So it's similar to like those collapsible tables you can get at a lot of home stores. You have two legs, they're really stable. You can move it around. If you're barbecuing outside, you can bring that outside with you, but it tucks up nice and small. Uh, so if you're using it, or if you're not using it, you can just get it out of the way and not have to worry about it. You do have a max air fan in this bathroom. So that max air fan is gonna be really nice. It's got a rain sensor on it. So if it senses water, it's gonna close itself so you don't go out on a trail ride, come back to your trailer being flooded. So. 
You can suck air out of here really, really quickly. If you're taking a shower, you can get all that steam moved out. Uh, it's got the control on the wall, or you can use the controls on the actual uh, device there. Nice, good sized shower here, especially for those taller people. This one does not have a skylight on it. I've had some people that don't want to order a trailer with one because they're worried about hail damage or anything like that. So if you're in that camp, this is a really, really good option for you. When these trailers come in, and especially in the colder months, we winterize them right away. Make sure that they're going to be good for the next customer moving, on, moving into this one. Big vanity cabinets here on double doors. I like that they put these ones on a double door so that you don't have a giant door that you need to swing out of the way. Gives you lots of storage being really usable. And then once again, we talked about what a big sink we had in the kitchen. Another really big, this is the same size sink I have at home. So you're not really going to notice a difference between being in your trailer and being at home, right? <laughs> Under here, you've got huge amounts of storage back here as well kind of access to some of your winterization things. So all in all, I think this is a really great setup for this trailer for the living quarters. I think that if you're looking for a three horse that's really compact, easy to get around in, I think you're really gonna like the living quarters setup on this one. So let's go check out the horse area now. Nice little pass through door here. Make it a little easier to get in and out. So you can tell that they definitely set this one up with the intention of also being able to use it as somewhat of an additional storage area. You've got the light that you can turn in on and off from the bathroom. And then you've got all these bridle hooks up above. They're nice and out of the way, so if you ever decide to haul a horse in the first slot, you're not gonna have to worry about them getting into anything. But if you're using this for additional jackets or bridles or anything like that, while you're at the show, it's gonna be really, really easy for you to use. Got nice padding on the wall itself. So you're nice and padded for your horses as well as on the dividers. And right down below here, you do have a stud stall on the first one. And that's, like I said, it's gonna make it really easy if you decide to use this as more of a mid tack, you can haul hay or anything like this in this first slot and not have to worry about it sliding back into those other two horses. Kick mats all around. Another nice upgrade on this trailer is the huge drop-down windows on the head side. Got them on the hip side or the head side as well, but having them on the hip side is really nice because if you are throwing feed for your horses, you can open these drop-downs, get a lot of air moving through here without having all the hay swirl around at your horses' heads. Big mangers right here. As I mentioned, you've got all these big drop downs on the head side so you can throw feed. They're nice and solid, so if you're having a horse on either side of you, you're not gonna have to worry about their hay dust swirling around and getting in your other horse's eyes. Something I like about these hearts is something that we have on our Cimarron trailers, and that is this insulated FiberTech roof. So we have had huge success using these FiberTech roofs on our Cimarrons. They have an R3 thermal value. They're a honeycomb core, so they're incredibly strong. They help dampen some of the noise so that your horses aren't having to listen to everything rattle around in the tin can. And they're very dent resistant. So we're here, here in Colorado. We're right on that corridor where we get a lot of hail. And our Cimarrons do a great job about protecting our investments because they can take huge sizes of hail without damage on their roof. So it's something that I'm really excited about on my Cimarron trailers. It's nice that the hearts have something similar on them. So if you're looking for a really high quality trailer, you might want to check this one out. You've got LED lights up on the hip side for your horses. So if you're loading in and out at night, they're going to be able to see where they're going. It's going to make it really, really easy to get horses in and out. And then we've got a telescoping divider. It's a partial on this last one, so if you ever need to collapse your tack, you're gonna be able to put this nice and flat against the wall. It's not gonna interfere with your rear door. 
I know people are a really big fan of having these big butt bars across versus just a strap. So you've got a nice big butt bar. If you need a bolster pad, we can always get one made and put on there for you. But it's really, really easy to operate. As I mentioned before, this is a collapsible rear tack. So this center support here is actually removable. And then you've got two uh, points at the top and the bottom that you can, can collapse and push this all the way over. The saddle rack itself is removable. So you don't have to be worried about that being in your way. The reason that it's really, really nice to have that option of a collapsible tack is if you're taking a golf cart or four wheeler or anything like that, that's a little bit bigger that you need a little more space for, you can collapse this over, remove that saddle rack, give yourself a little additional space. It doesn't just have to haul horses. You can use this as somewhat of a multi-purpose trailer. Big window on the, on the door on the passenger side. Once again, it's all about airflow, keeping those horses nice and cool as you travel. You can really manipulate this trailer to have the airflow that you want between the big windows, the roof vents, the drop downs on the head and that rear window there. In your rear tack, these are adjustable. So like our Cimarron trailers, you can move these saddle racks up and down so that you can easily make it customized to your own trailer. If you need to, you can always get additional blanket poles add on there or additional saddle tiers. Little carpeted bridle hooks here on the driver's side. It's nice to have the carpeting behind there so that as your bits swing back and forth, number one, it's quieter so your horses don't have to listen to it. Number two, it protects your investment because that carpet will take a lot more wear and, or abuse than, than your aluminum skins will. So it'll just keep it looking nice for a long time to come. As you guys can see, this trailer is pretty dang spotless. We haven't even run it through our shops yet, but I know that it's gonna go quickly, so I wanted to film it for you guys to see what condition it's in when it came in. There's that free wire for that generator, so if you do decide you wanna add something like that on in the future, you can take it to a licensed conversion company or somebody that you trust and have them install a onboard generator on this trailer. More bridle hooks here on this door, as well as a little brush tray. You've got kick mats behind so that you don't have to worry about those bits swinging back and forth and marking up this white aluminum here. Load lights on the rear so that once again, your horses can see where they're stepping into. They don't have to worry about anybody tripping out of the trailer. If you guys need a rear, if this trailer's perfect, but you need a rear ramp, that's something we could easily install here at TransWest. So just, don't let that stop you if this is the perfect trailer for you. On this side here, you've got some nice good Goodyear tires. They are uh, sitting on two rubber torsion 7K axles. You've got the aluminum wheels and they are load range G as you can see. So we've got some nice good tires on these ones. For those of you that are wondering how old these tires are, this is something we ask a lot of people to check for if we're taking a trailer in on trade. We're looking for the DOT code. It is a four digit number on the trailer or on the tires. Sometimes it can be a little hard to find because sometimes it's on the opposite side. So you might have to crawl underneath. We got really lucky. These ones are on the outside, really easy to find. So these first two digits here, the 11, that's the year, the week of production. And then the 18 is the year of production. So these were produced in the 11th week of 2018. That's really important for us because we wanna make sure these trailers, these tires come in with good even wear and tear. And we also want them to be all matching and within five years from their production date. So if they're not meeting any of those criteria, we're probably gonna go ahead and replace them. These ones all, came in matching, good wear and tear, and within date, so they'll stay on there. Good year, good tires. You've got your escape door here. As I mentioned earlier, this is great. You can use it as more of a mid-tack or a uh, additional storage area, because you've got that little pass-through door to get in and out of your LQ. So I know a lot of people use that. It's just really nice to have this as well. It's You've got the drop down on the head side there, so you can still get those airflow going through if you've got a horse in that first slot. 
You've got mangers on these next two. They are continuous, so you can put a lot of things in here, lots of feed bags or buckets. They're nice and deep, as well as they have lights on them. And I actually kind of like that these, these go up, they get nice and out of your way. It makes it really easy to load and unload them. So we work way, our way over this way. You have your fresh and your city water connections. So if you are using this trailer and you do not have a water source, a city water source to use, you've got an onboard storage tank. They're usually right around 60 gallons. But if you are able to connect to city water and get continuous flow, all of your water connections are right here, really easy to access. So I know you guys are really excited about this trailer. As of right now, it's still available. We will run it through our shop. It will be ready to roll down the road when you are going to take it home. But once again, it is a 2019 Hart three horse living quarters. They're coming hard. They're becoming harder and harder to come by as the year as the year progresses. So come check this one out while it's still available. You can go to transwest.com and type in the stock number 5U211737 or you can give me a call. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. If there's anything that I didn't touch on that you would like a little more information on, I'd be happy to gather additional photos or build sheets or anything like that for you. Once again, my name is Callie Say, 970-309-6368. Really appreciate everybody taking the time to tune in today. If you like this trailer, give me a call. Thanks, have a great day.